Hello students, a surprise, this video gives you 4 marks, if you want to claim that 4 marks, don't hesitate to watch this video till the end. You will learn about a chapter called financial statement of a company. From that chapter, 4 marks will be asked for the board exam accountancy that placed in part B. You will learn about it, am I correct? So, that is based on heads and subheads. Items would be given in the question paper. You are going to write appropriate main heads and subheads. But if you search in TS Grivels and the APC guide and even internet also, for some questions you couldn't get the answer and sometimes it may be in oscillation whether the right answer is this or some other answer will be suitable for it. But now, I have an answer for all the questions, not 10 or 20, I have nearly 121 heads and subheads items. I attached this document in the descriptions, you download and make use of it. Dear students, you see the question number 31st. How would you disclose the following items in the financial statement of a company? So they are asking us to disclose the following items in the financial statement of a limited company they are asking. You will know about that schedule 3, hmm? part 1, schedule 3, as per 2013 companies advice, what we should give us remedy for these following items. So as per that, we should write the appropriate heads and subheads. They are asking us to disclose the following items. These all are items. Nearly 8 items has been given. So for these all 8 items, we should write heads and subheads. Like major heads and subheads or main heads and subheads. For an example, for outstanding salary as a main heads, what we can try to guess? Main heads for uh, outstanding liability, will outstanding salary, it is right? outstanding liability so current liability it is current liability and what will be the subhead for it subheads just you guess it subheads for outstanding salary is other current liability other current liability so many of the students are doing mistakes while you are writing in the exams so you are writing only main heads and subheads and somebody is those who don't know they are writing the items and main heads alone, they fail to write these subheads. Okay, that and all wrong. So the perfect format is there. Format is most important to do these activities better. Those who are being a sentence scorer, especially for you people. So how you should handle this question? First ever, you write the items. For an example, write the items. So under these items, put the first one outstanding salary outstanding salary i'm writing in short you write over there perfectly what has been given in the question paper outstanding salary and write the main heads main heads so under the main heads write it is current liability current liability and uh, subheads subheads under the subheads you should write other current liability for it marks will be given if you are writing only main heads don't expect the marks. If you are writing only subheads also, you can't expect any marks from the board paper. Okay, are you clear about it? And better for your understanding because um, a number of times we dealt many mistakes. If you search in TS Girival, that will give different answer and NCRT book will give different answer and sometimes internet also will give different answer. We were in isolation. So, to eliminate complexities, I have here, especially for you, nearly 121 items, not one or two, 121 heads and subheads available here. You could see, this I will attach in the description. This I will attach in the description, which will be very useful for you, not only for the sentence scorer, those who uh, get very less mark as a poor student. Uh, they are telling you as a slow learner, this, that and all, they are neglecting you a lot, but you throw it away. So definitely 4 mark you can score if you well known about it. For writing it, you don't need to have any accounting knowledge and all. You well known about the financial statement of the company based on that only as per Schedule 3 Part 1 2013 Companies Act has been given the entity as items 
and main heads and sub heads for your better understanding they given notes for few items that also you can refer a side by okay so very simple format it is available it is available in our description don't forget to download and print it out make use of it thank you